and he's certainly improved as the game's gone on. And I'd say he's backed himself to kick this from 50 metres out. It'll be goal number five. He brings it up to South Fremantle. Drop punt on its way. Sailing goalwood. Good kick. Goal. Great kick by Glenn Jakovic for his fifth of the match. He really has been a real avenue of attack for the Bulldogs. Well, Wally, they must have been listening to you because Fox is back on Jakovic now. And Jackson has gone to centre-half forward. I'd still rather see him at full forward, Trev. Watson offloads a 55-metre kick to the forward line and Styles takes the mark. Perth kicked a goal in the third quarter. At what uh, minute mark was it, Ken? 20 in the 28-minute uh, mark. 28-minute mark. 5-7 oh, at half time, there's 6-7 now and this ball is coming back and is a goal, good <laughs> kick Styles can really put his boot into it and he's found the target then just sneaking the right side of the post right centre wing for South he goes short, Matera good mark put under pressure by Papato. in the pocket he goes, this is Paul Wilson he's got a paddock to run in he's now 30 metres out, a shot at goal by Wilson Looks pretty good. No, one behind. Yes, Paul Wilson was probably 30 metres in the clear, and it's been a disappointing part of Perth's play today of the defenders not picking up their players. That's the centre half forward for South and Mandel, and the river centre half back, which I think is Warren Nicholas. You don't let your centre half forward at any stage get that far away. So Fox drives straight down the middle of the ground. Two South and Mandel's uh, players had the opportunity, and it was finally Wilson who pulls down the mark. Too far out to score. He'll lob it in the goal square. The lead coming from Jakovic. No mark taken. Collard a chance. This is Brad Collard. Forced a hand pass. Willie Rioli. Can he snap a goal? He's kicked to the edge of the square. Wrestling down there is Tomizzi with Mascos. At the front of the pack for Potto. Back to Tomizzi. And Perth out of trouble. The clearing kick in towards the centre of the ground. Jackson is there. At least he was able to give a contest. The ball comes to the back of the pack and Willie Dick perhaps the most skillful player on the Perth side. He had a couple of options. He goes out wide to Yaron, and Yaron should goal from there. It's a pretty awkward-looking kick, but he's got it, I think. But Souths now have the numbers. Cliff Collard tapping it out in front of Matera. Matera is outnumbered, but does it pretty well. The ball stays in play, which was perhaps not what he was counting on. Marnie got the hair pass away and appeared to be held after he had uh, got rid of the ball. Buck kicks back towards centre-half forward and Craig Edwards takes the relieving mark. He takes it across the half-back line. Not a good kick, that one, from Edwards. That's made life difficult for, for his uh, teammate Ball and it's kicked back towards centre-half forward for Perth. Now, in turn, broken up as South put it back up onto the centre-wing position through Solon. The Collard hand pass goes into the centre of the ground and Lynch. Lynch kicks to half-forward. Wilson is spoiled. Papato gets the ball away to Spalding, back to Papato, on it goes to Tomizzi, and uh, Tomizzi from the defensive side of the centre line kicks badly. Mark not paid, it comes down to Alvaro, and he picks out the only South Fremantle defender in the full forward line, that was Fimino. Now Grant, not a good kick, but it'll be marked out there by Worsfold, in the back pocket for the Bulldogs. Edwards, good strong mark. Ball and Whittington were closing. He had a good day, Craig Edwards. That kick's not so good. His marksman, Gavridge, misses the mark. He shepherds. Asks for Potto to pick it up. He kicks to set a half forward, and Shane Styles takes the mark. Plays on quickly with a hand pass to Watson. He runs to 45 metres. Drills it. That's his second goal for the match. But as Wally said before, he's had a very patchy game. Fox in trouble, smothered by Matera. Still he goes, gives it to Jakovic. Jakovic ducking and diving, tackled well by Nicholas. That lands with Tamizzi. He's confronted by Matera. Dive, well, he's got a push according to umpire Vernon. A bit unlucky then. Yes, I think he, yeah, Robert not very happy with that decision and he may have the same view that I did, that Peter Matera got a push, he got half a push and he turned it into a huge push. <laughs> That's what Wally's needed all his life. Peter Matera has been one of the better players on the field this afternoon. This will be his 20th kick. And this will be his fourth goal, I think, Ken, if he kicks it. Well, he's got a kick of about 25 metres, maybe a little less. He's pretty accurate as a rule. 
properly bandaged left hand and kicks at goal and he's missed pretty ordinary attempt then from Peter Matera he might be getting a bit tired though Brian well he very well could be he's a player that works very hard Trevor he's a, a forward that chases his opponents very hard when they have the ball and a very dangerous oh. kick in by Buck he's kicked in short all day and that would be the most dangerous one he's done that, that would be shortest. the shortest of the lot yeah. but he usually waits till the player is completely surrounded by opponents just to make it more interesting now here goes Souths again rebounding strongly Geary with the hand pass into the pocket. This is Ball. Peter Ball steadies. And the ball is swung away after it had gone through. Yes. So he's kicked the goal, Peter Ball. And the Souths go further ahead. Play back in the centre. Turner at close quarters to Collard. Now Marnie. Very impressive, Warren Marnie. Kicks to half forward. Shane Stiles shows the ball to Nolder onto his left foot. Sets it up just outside the square. Pack into the air, no mark, worst fold to Cliff Collard. Gets around Dick, no, he didn't get around Dick. He got his hand pass in, and it lobs with Styles. Styles, snapshot at goal, and into the square. The mark taken by Hanley. A very good team goal there from Perth. A few of the players involved. It's been a very ordinary day, in fact, hasn't it? He's had to lower his colours today uh, to Craig Edwards. And there's a good mark to Alvaro. Why he wanted to play on, I don't know. And Mark Watson's decision to turn into that pack of South Fremantle players wasn't a particularly sound one either. Featherweight fight. Players uh, getting a little bit frustrated in there. Yeah. Certainly the, the Perth players uh, have been. And Alvaro took a good mark, played on when he shouldn't have. And central umpire Byron Hadjimarkas, he's a very nice fellow and as an umpire with a lot of personality, settled the situation there. Well, two Perth players spoiling one another. Geary was retarded but not stopped and he kicks the goal. Adding further insult to the demons out here at the...